elderly man in a subdued green velvet cloak trimmed in fur instructs a boy wearing a lavish eastern costume. The artist presents a study in contrasts, the student's youthfulness, his smooth complexion, lavish garments, and quest for knowledge are balanced against the learned man's aged, weathered face as he imparts wisdom. A warm light that accentuates the tonal contrasts and rich textures of the velvet and satin fabric spathes the two figures. Light catches and shimmers off the precious stones of the boy's gold jewelry. Fine, precise brush strokes enhance the overall impression of softness. The subjects are presented in the guise of historical personages, possibly portraying the youthful Old Testament prophet Samuel with his instructor Eli. The use of lavish costumes and light and dark contrasts reveal the influence of Rembrandt. Love. It reaches out to the selfish idiot, to the wastrel, to the passion-driven fool. Love properly understood is destined also for the undeserving. Perhaps Rembrandt's most moving work is a modest-looking print entitled Christ Preaching. Significantly, it isn't set in Galilee or Jerusalem in the first century AD. Instead, the message of kindness is being preached in a back street of a Dutch town. In other words, to Rembrandt's contemporaries. The message can be boiled down to three words. I love you. And it's being beamed out to precisely the kinds of people who, in Rembrandt's day, were viewed with some justification as particularly odious. They are, we can guess, Thieves, layabouts, drunks, pimps, and people who lent money at terrifying rates of interest. Mean employers. And the world's most famous paintings command prices in the hundreds of millions of dollars. And the work of Rembrandt is among them. Rembrandt is an old master, probably the greatest. This Dutch painter lived between 1606 and 1669. He was the ninth child of a miller and a baker's daughter, and spent his life in Amsterdam and Leiden. And unlike many other painters in the Golden Age, he never left the Netherlands, or as it was known then, the Dutch Republic. The main subjects of his paintings were religious themes and portraiture, and 20th century scholars have credited Rembrandt with more than 300 paintings, etchings, and drawings. And these works are in the world's top museums and in private collections. Thank you.